so hello devs hope you all are doing pretty well so today we are going to discuss about a topic which is very uncommon and untouchable that is rdp which is stand for remote desktop protocol so basically why this rdp every time it hits in our mind what is the use of this rdp so whenever you have to connect one computer to another computer there comes rdp over a network because we are going to connect two system over a network not through any lan cable so this protocol is provided by microsoft and microsoft is also providing good user interface by which you can go and you can connect this two system remotely but we are not going to do the same rather than that what we are going to use is like i will show you so let me draw the figure so sorry for my handwriting it's not that good so one is our this is our client system and this is our server so this is our system and this is our friend system or you can say any other system which you are going to access remotely so what we have to do we have to use two thing one is port number and another one is ip address of server which you are going to provide in our client side code okay in our client side code we are going to provide that thing so let's deep dive into the code and see how it works so first of all what we are going to do is like we are going to write client side code and after that after completion of the client side code jump to server side code so let me close this and don't save open notepad plus plus let's uh, click on new file let's uh, start the coding public class any class you can give let's start okay now as i told you we have to do two things first of all we have to give port number and then we have to write ip address for that our server so any port number we can fix anything so it's up to us static port static string port equal to okay for what port number we can give 4907 we can give Okay, now we will create main method public static void main string args. So why we have given this static because uh, we don't want to change our uh, value each and every time. Whatever the value is assigned, it will be fixed, and if we will change the value, port will be. like one object will be there only so for this port only object is going to uh, the value is going to be only changed not the object now as i told you we have to get ip of our servo system means our secondary system or you can say our friend system so for that we have to uh, write a string ip now how you will get the ip so you have to provide a console so console is j option pen which is there in swing so it is there in swing which you can use so j option pen dot show input dialog d i a l o g dialog correct now you can write some because this is input dialog no so what it will do it will accept one string and uh, for that it will provide you a text box a text box it will provide you and in that text box what it will show it will show like please enter enter server ip server ip okay now for that what we have to do we have to import like uh, swing class we have to import so write import java x dot swing dot j option pen okay now okay so let's come down now we have to initialize our method so what we'll write initialize and here what we have to provide as i told you ip address and then port number but port number is an integer so we have to convert it into 
integer put number is in what is string format so you have to convert it into integer so what is the function to do that integer dot parse int parse int and in that you are going to write that port number port perfect let's create integer initialize public void initialize method now what it is going to take like string ip address first of all and then int port as we have specified it there okay now use try and catch block because since we are going to use server socket programming so their try and catch block is mandatory otherwise you will get an exception so you have to handle that by your own so for that write socket so before writing this socket we have to import some packages for socket like import java dot net dot socket perfect okay so let's come down right for this so for socket you just create object soc create socket sc equal to new socket and then what you have to provide ip and then port correct now you just print system dot out dot print ln connecting to server just message will give because if it is connecting then only the message will be appeared connecting to the server this message we have given okay now we have to make a class for authentications because we are also going to provide password so that we can we have to make our system secure no how we are going to do the security how we are going to provide the security so some password also we are going to provide because suppose someone knows your ip address so it, if he will provide the ip address suppose if he has run the same java uh, suppose he has run the server side program and if he will provide just if he will run this code in his system then he can easily access no your system that's why we are going to provide a password authentication for this so for that we are going to create a new class which is authentication so okay come to this one and try to write authentication authentication like frame one will give something for a frame one equal to new authentication and what we will pass here that socket socket object will pass here now for the frame one what we have to do frame one we have to set the size for that so frame one dot set size frame one dot set size what will be the width and height 300 my t will give and then frame one dot set frame one dot set location location 500 300 500 300 will give and uh, set visibility will give true frame one dot set visibility uh, set visible set visible as true perfect okay so for that uh, we have to create another class we will do it later first of all we will do the catching c a t c h catch exception exception e so for exception whether if you are going to write something or not doesn't matter you dot print a stack trace you can write it will take care of that print a stack okay so now how it will initialize so this is the problem for us we can write we have to create object for this class and then we have to call that method because this is locally so what we have to do new is start okay capital s new is start okay and then dot initialize perfect and then we are going to provide ip and integer dot pass in of port number it will work fine so we will save this program for the where we have to save i will tell you 
okay we'll go to tail and then we'll write our we'll create a new folder there and we'll write client this is client program so open this client program and give this as start dot java in client okay so this program is in client create another class because uh, we have to create authentication also this is the class which is going to handle our authentication where we have to show our password and all so for that what we will do we will write a full code where password will be provided it will be taken everything we will do it in next video so for the time being what i will do i will just create the class public okay class we have to give no auth authentication i guess what class we have given authentication i will do copy and paste otherwise it will might create some problem control v yeah authentication class authentication okay we will save this as authentication dot java yes yeah so this thing we will see in the next video this section so this video is still not completed just uh, one part i have completed now it's still three to four part is there for this client programming and then i will go to server and then i will write code for that too so for that time you just be with me and if you like the video really then please do share and subscribe and if you face any difficulty you can comment down below thanks